morning everybody. Sat upstairs in Ray's house. Family working hard over there, drying rice in the sun. But we're going to have a chat about, about Raymond's journey from the UK to Thailand and process and everything he went through. So the first question to ask our Ray really is, when did you decide you'd had enough to finally make the move and why? The process actually started in January when I acquired my visa, marriage visa, uh, to come back, initially to come back April, May time. And then we all know what happened. Covid struck. Lurgy. The threat of Lurgy. And um, so there's obviously no way back in until we started doing repatriation flights around about August time. But I missed, I missed those. So then I applied for repatriation flights in September. There was three Thai Airways. And they opened on the 1st of September at 9 o'clock in the morning. And they were all fully booked by one minute past. And, I, and I'd missed, I got an email uh, saying, sorry, but you've uh, haven't got a place on the flight. But then I keep hearing rumours that Emirates were going to do flights into Thailand. People were saying, don't book these flights. No commercial flights are allowed to land, only repatriation flights and cargo flights. They just want your money and then they'll, they'll just give you vouchers back. But then one night, at nine o'clock at night, I got an email. It was in September, wasn't it? In September. I got an email. And I opened it and it was uh, from the uh, Thai embassy. A lady there. The consul herself. The, the consul herself. And um, saying, I'm sorry, sorry I haven't been in touch, but I've had nothing to report. But I've just had confirmation from Bangkok that Emirates are allowed to fly now into, uh, into Bangkok. So if you, if you can book yourself flights then, um, and get all your relevant paperwork together, I'll, I'll issue you with your certificate of entry. And because you were married to a Thai national, you were in the category or the group yeah. of yeah. people that were allowed to... Uh, to re-enter. Yeah. So then the process was you had to have COVID insurance to cover you for 100,000 US dollars. So, the first document we're going to look at is uh, Ray's insurance papers. And here it is. It's quite a hefty book. I'm not, we're not going to run through the whole lot, but there you go. All kinds of stuff in there. But that's what they insisted on, was a uh, 100,000 US dollars insured under the domestic travel insurance policy. And the company was Tune Insurance Public Company Limited. And it covers any medical treatment expenses for COVID-19 and subject to the terms and conditions as well as exclusions that is stated in the insurance policy. So there you go, $100,000. Plus other stuff. And that cost me 15,000 baht. 15,000 baht. Yeah. Which uh, and, uh, you're allowed to pay with, your, uh, with a credit card, so that was quite easy. Yeah. So what's that 15,000 baht, the equivalent of 300 odd quid, isn't it? Yeah. 380 quid, isn't it? 40 baht to a pound. Yeah. Just short of 400 quid. Which, which covered me for a year. Yeah. Not great, but you can't get here without it. <laughs> right, and then I had to uh, book a hotel. That's so my comfort. Letter. So he, the ASQ alternative state quarantine. It's the O2 luxury hotel. Uh, don't forget Raymond and his wife as well. The deluxe room. So you got to pre-book that and pre-pay it, yeah. Yeah. Wow. But that cost you thirty-eight thousand baht each. 
So 38,000 baht for the hotel, so that works out at just, uh, just under 500 pound a week. And uh, I'll, I'll let Ray explain what, you know, what he thought about paying it, you know, was it value for money or was it expensive? And he'll talk a little bit about the food, etc. as well. And the hotel services that they provided. Just wait for the uh, well builder to stop grinding. Alright, crack on. Well, it wasn't a case whether it was value for money or not. It was a case of that it... You had to do it. You had to do it. Simple as that. It was cheap. It was cheaper hotels as well, but this one uh, was quite nice. It had a good good review. And at 38,000, uh, that included um, the transport from the airport. It also included um, all your meals, three meals a day. And you had complimentary uh, tea, coffee. Yeah, and other sundries. And about 18 bottles of big bottles of water. Plenty of toilet paper. Plenty. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything about the food, but it, it, it had to be done. It was as simple as that. And then, and that also included um, two uh, COVID tests. And then after your first COVID test, you were allowed downstairs for an hour. How much does a COVID test cost in Thailand? Between 3,500 baht and 5,000. So if, you, from what I was led to believe. so if you get an average of 4,000, so there's 8,000 baht there, just in, just in Covid tests. And then, um, I know people say, oh, you're allowed an hour a day, a big deal. But it had to be done. It, it wasn't, had to be done. It wasn't that bad, was it? No. Apart from your TV, you got two channels to watch. <laughs> All I had was three channels. Two, two news channels and a, and a movie channel that just kept going around in a loop. But, um, yeah, I had a book as well, Tyson Fury. But he wasn't a rip-off, that's what I'm no, talking about. No, no, it's no, all right. It's not, Considering you get fed. You know, when, when, you were re when you're reading the forums, oh, I'm not getting ripped off, they're ripping you off. Hang on. They're, they're, just, they're just protecting their own people. Not like, not like England letting every Tom, Dick and Harry in with, with whatever. Look <laughs> what happened. Well, you got to pay your own way, yeah? They let the Cheltenham Festival go ahead with thousands and thousands of people a day, and then there you go. Look, look what happened. And 60 people's died in Thailand, apparently. I don't know whether you believe that or not. And, that, and more than, what, 40, 50,000 in Great Britain. Anyway, that's besides the point. That's digressing. Right, so so you booked your hotel. Yeah. Then, you, was it next, your flight ticket? Booked my flight ticket. So there's a flight certificate uh, letter there. So you've got insurance, we've got ASQ um, booking, flight ticket. That was about £440, I think. £440, something like that, just over. Then what? Then, then you got... But it makes me laugh, people, you know, talk to people say, oh, yeah, but there's only one way. Well, I only wanted to go one way. <laughs> you know, people just nitpick at everything. Right, anyway, you got your flights. Like you said, you only intended to go one way, so yeah. that's all you uh, cared about. Obviously, I, I had to prove I was married, so I had to send a copy of my marriage certificate. Yeah. This was all the process of getting my certificate of entry. Um, then that's dealing with the embassy direct, yeah? That's right, yeah. Proved I was married. Copies of passport, visa. Copy of my passport, copy of my visa. And then um, and flight, hotel, insurance. And then I was um, this. You got that, which is a certificate of entry, which gives a date of departure from the originating point, which is obviously London, Heathrow, and date of arrival into Thailand and the flight number, basically. And a, and a stamp, embassy stamp. So I was stamped 16th of September. So that gave you four weeks yeah. to prepare to get you. So then your final things that you had to do was... Right. 72, hours, 72 hours before you fly, you've got to have a COVID test. 
obviously uh, past that. And, and then get a, yeah, I mean, the thing, the only thing was, I could have got, I went through all that process. Yeah. If I'd have failed my COVID test, it, that would have been it. Well, we'll talk about that in a little yes. bit. You, you got away with that by the skin of your teeth. Yeah. Because, <laughs> well, we can talk about it now because Ray's son, Dean, where he spent his last night in the UK. A week later. A week later, he, he, he tested positive for COVID. <laughs> anyway. So I had it on a Saturday, the test. <laughs> anyway. But well, that threw everybody. It threw a woman. At, at, threw he, threw, he threw me, it threw him. And then, then you know, when you count the hours, so he, he was in a few within yeah, a few hours. It, it was the, the test result said midnight on Sunday, mm. and I thought, oh no! And then, but then when you count it through, it's midnight to midnight Monday. <laughs> it's twelve hours. And this is how I had to explain to the lady at the airport. She wasn't going to let you on, and then the end oh, says, oh, what am I? I'm not immigration <laughs> anyway, am I? She said, oh, I'm going to speak to my supervisor. I said, well, work it out. I said, midnight Sunday to midnight Monday, 12 hours. Midnight, 24 even. Uh, it's 24 hours. Midnight Monday to midnight Tuesday is 48. Oh. I said, today is Wednesday. It's about 11 o'clock, so I've got till midnight yeah. tonight. It's within 72 hours. That fried her brain. <laughs> and she went and... But then I also had it in Dubai. Because same oh, thing. yeah, same thing in Dubai, yeah? Yeah, yeah but that's because I left Dubai at gone midnight, which took you into the next oh, day. Oh, got you. Yeah, and I said, no, don't forget, I left on the on the 14th. Oh, oh, oh sorry, right. So that was all right. Anyway, anyway he, so got, he got here. So then you have to have a fixed yeah. to fly certificate. So you... Yeah, right. What was the price of your... 120 pounds. No, for your COVID test. 120. 120 pounds. And then your fit to fly certificate. You did that with a Skype interview, didn't you? Yeah. Dr. Daniel Wright. Uh, that was 55 pounds. Which is basically, all, he, all, he had to, all Ray had to do was show him evidence of a negative COVID-19 antigen swab, which he did, and that basically... And then he said... 55 <laughs> quid do you, do you feel all right <laughs> yeah fine that was it but saying that I, you could have got you, you could have got i could have got, got your doctor to do it but have you ever tried making a doctor's appointment in england absolute nightmare you, you, you couldn't make it up well, then, it's and almost, also, you don't, it's almost impossible to get a doctor. Well, and also, you don't you don't want to be in, in contact with other people in case you bloody contact the the lurgy. Doctor surgeries aren't the healthiest places in the world. <laughs> so that was it. For sick people. That was all my. That was all my uh, paperwork done. Yeah. Done and dusted. So then it was packing, getting ready. Uh, no, that, I was already packed because I was staying at my son's. Yeah. Well, in, yeah. In, by uh, then, they just staying at the son's, saying goodbye to everybody, and then uh, getting jumped on a flight. On a flight, wasn't said it? Said goodbye to all my children. And then while on the flight, you had uh, this thing to fill out, didn't you? Was it? Was it that? Uh, oh, T8 form. Yeah, T8. Yeah. Right, you get this. How did you get this? Email to you. You printed it out. That that one. This this was all on on oh, the. Nice. No, I don't have to worry about that. Anyway, what he does is... No, no, because I didn't uh, use it. I didn't use it. Well, he says on there, strictly well, follow the instructions. because well, I, mean, I had that. Right, so you got a T8. Yeah, but it says on there you've got a complete a T8. Yeah, but that... You, so you've got a T8 form. You have to have a technical brain for that, and I haven't got it. Basically, <laughs> you, you got to have a QR scanner. Yeah. Code, QR code scanner. And he, I did scan it, but I never used it. But you didn't know what no, to do I with it. Yeah. So there you go. Then, he, then also, he's on, on the also flight. Also, there's a, a declaration form to fill in, which is all... You, you download it all off the... All off the, uh, of the Thai website, but I mean, I, I'm not being funny, I, I'm, not, I'm not great with stuff like that, but one of my sons, um, Ryan, he did everything for me. Ryan's the brains of the family, he's a school yeah, teacher. Okay, we'll end it there, and I'll do, I'll do another video in a bit.